Hi, my name's Louis and I'm a first year and I'm here to talk to you about interview process and my experiences. Uh, the first thing I'd like to talk to you about is preparation for interview. Uh, one piece of advice I'd give you is to keep up to date with topical events and consider their legal implications. For example, in my interview I was talked to, talk to about the 2011 riots in London and whether the police should be liable for any damage caused by them in, because they failed to maintain public order. This leads me on to my second point that it, it is important not just to know about those topical events but also have an opinion on them and be able to justify that opinion. Broadsheets can be quite intimidating but there are a number of uh, blogs and Twitter feeds that are really useful such as Public Law for Everyone. Um, the third thing to say about preparation for interview is somewhat frustratingly there's little you can do. The only other preparation that I did was to have a mock interview with my history teacher at school. Uh, next let me talk to you about the uh, experiences of the day itself. The important thing to note is each college does it differently and so my experiences may be very different from someone who had it at a different college. I remember feeling very nervous on the train up um, and you went to the porter's lodge of the college and then you're taken to a room where other interview candidates are. I had two interviews, each with two interviewers. Um, I think there are kind of two sorts of questions in the interview. Firstly, there are problem style questions uh, are, where you're given a piece of law beforehand and then in the interview you're then given fact scenarios in which to apply that law. I think the important thing to know about those sorts of questions is that no knowledge of uh, the law prior to your interview is needed. I certainly didn't have any knowledge of uh, land law when I went into my interview. And secondly, there are essay style questions um, where you're given uh, a subject and you, that you're asked to form an opinion on it and justify it. Um, here is where a knowledge of current affairs is really useful. Um, the three pieces of, of advice that I give to you about the interview itself is firstly not to rush answers, um, take time to think about what you're going to say. Uh, secondly, try and justify and reason everything you say. So instead of saying, I believe X, say, I believe X because. And thirdly, for many of the things they ask you, there's no right answer, otherwise they, they wouldn't ask it. Therefore, as long as you effectively reason your opinions and you're, you're doing well, and link with that is be willing to stand up for your beliefs, but also don't try and defend the indefensible, I guess. Um, I then had the Cambridge Law Test where you're asked to do an essay. I did my essay on whether universities should be run like businesses or not. And so it's going to be on a subject that you're familiar with or, or know about. And so there's nothing to worry about with that. Um, finally, I'd like to talk to you about my reflections on the day and the interview itself. Uh, first, firstly, no matter if you're successful or not, uh, the, having an interview at Cambridge is, I believe, really useful in developing life skills. Having this experience behind you is when you go for a job interview, for example, or an interview at another university is, is, is invaluable. Secondly, the interview is, is kind of representative of the supervisions we have at Cambridge. Uh, communicating with a leading academic on an issue of law is what makes a part of our education at Cambridge. And thirdly, looking back at the uh, day, it was a, in many ways a positive experience, an enjoyable experience. I therefore would wholeheartedly say that the interview process is not as scary as it seems and it certainly shouldn't put you off applying to Cambridge.